Um, good morning, Miria. Work has already started, but you're going to be late again today? This is your fifth day in a row being late. Oh, sorry, sorry. You see, my boyfriend I'm currently living with wouldn't wake me up on time. To tell you the truth, we were too busy making love all night, so we couldn't go to sleep until it was already morning. Sorry, I guess the both of us just overslept again. That's not an excuse to be late. Hurry up and come to work, will you? Oh, come on, Pietra. No need to be so stiff. Just because you're 39 and still single and are doomed to a life of loneliness doesn't mean you can take that anger out on me, who's about to get married at the age of 20, I think. You know, you should really go and find a boyfriend of your own, because maybe then you wouldn't be so uptight about everything anymore. Like I said, none of what you're saying right now changes the fact that you're late. Come to work immediately. Aw, can you forgive me just this once? You see, our wedding is going to take place next week, so our love for each other is also at a peak right now. I promise that from next week, I'll come to work on time every day. So in exchange, could you just let me be with my boyfriend a little bit longer? Please, Pietra, are you really going to make me just leave him like this? That's not an excuse to be late. Hurry up and come to work. Huh? What's your problem? And to think I was sharing some of my happiness with you. This is why you're 39 and still single. Guys are turned off by women like you who are too uptight, you know? Do you want me to say the same thing for the fourth time? Should I copy and paste it over and over until you finally understand what it means? Fine, I get it. Oh, and by the way, when addressing your colleagues at work, you need to be more polite and have manners, no matter the age of the person you're talking to. Please don't bring your private matters into work. I don't want to have to tell you this several times as well. I understand. I'll get prepared and leave the house right now if that's what you want. Thank you. We've got a department meeting today, so it would be best if you get here as soon as possible because it's about to start in 30 minutes. Um, I don't think today is a holiday, right, Pietra? But it's already time for your lunch break, and I still haven't seen you. Could it be that you're late? Oh, this is why single old women are the worst. You always nagged me for being late to work, but now you're late yourself? <laughs> Seriously, Pietra, this is just embarrassing. This is why they call you a hypocrite, you know. Hello, Miria. Um, but I got to work on time this morning as usual, and I've been at my desk all morning. What are you talking about? Huh? But I haven't seen you at your desk all day. Our department mainly deals with internal affairs, so the excuse of, I have business outside won't work, you know. Oh, so you didn't get the notification regarding the staff relocation? Staff relocation? What are you talking about? You see, I've been moved to the marketing department, and I'm going to be working here starting from today. Huh? I already moved all the stuff that was around my old desk to my new desk. Didn't you notice? Seriously? You're right. Everything except the computer is gone. Yes. I was told that a new employee that's going to be joining us next week is going to be using that computer, which is why it was left there. So, it's also true that you were relocated to the marketing department? But that department is popular amongst the women here since there are so many handsome men. I wanted to go there too. Um, but didn't you say that you had a fiancé? Never mind. This staff relocation was announced to everyone in the company two months ago. You're only hearing about this now? What? Really? Where did they announce this information? Multiple places, really. They sent it to all of our work emails, and it was even announced in our group chat. I'm surprised you haven't heard it from one of your colleagues, since it's been a common topic of discussion around the office these past two months. Anyway, is that all you had to say to me? Oh yeah, um, my wedding is going to be this Sunday, but... Oh, is that so? Congratulations on your wedding. I didn't invite you to the wedding ceremony, but I thought that I would invite you to the reception after that. Thank you for the invitation, but I have a wedding on that day as well, so I can't go. I'm sorry. Is that so? 
And to think I was trying to be nice to you for a change. This is why single old women like you are the worst. Do you even know how to loosen up and smile for a change? Or is that frown just a permanent part of your face now? Well then, I'm currently in the middle of eating lunch right now, so goodbye. What? Are you kidding me right now? Why are you at my wedding ceremony, Pietra? You know that you weren't invited, right? I remember specifically telling you that a few days ago. Yet you seriously came to my wedding? Oh, that reminds me. You said something about how you couldn't come since you had a wedding of your own, right? You seriously didn't go to that wedding and came to mine instead? Why? Let me guess, you're here to get acquainted with some of my husband's friends, since most of them are doctors, lawyers, pilots, or other such high-income professions. I didn't think much of it when you told me you wouldn't come, since I just assumed that you were invited to a friend or relative's wedding, but to think that you were actually planning on finding a man at my wedding? This is unbelievable. The fact that you lied to me about it is especially disgusting. I didn't invite you here, so I'm not going to let you inside the wedding venue no matter what, all right? This is why single old women are the worst. They act all arrogant and superior, but at the end of the day have no sense of shame and are willing to do anything to find a man that will accept them. Will you please just hurry up and go home? You're not wanted here. Huh? You're seriously still here, Pietra? And to think that I was relieved and thought that you did as I told you and went home when you didn't barge into the chapel as I was kind of expecting you to. Hold on, why are you wearing a wedding dress? But even wearing just a white dress is considered rude at a wedding and you come here in a wedding dress? Seriously? Just how much of an idiot are you, Pietra? Don't tell me, but are you here for my groom? You seriously couldn't be satisfied with one of his rich friends or something? Seriously, I knew you were an uptight old hag, but to think that you were also one of those women who can only be satisfied by stealing other women's men? You disgust me, Pietra. That's not something a single old woman about to turn 40 is supposed to. Usually only pretty young women like me do stuff like that. Well, I understand why you would want to steal him after all. He's rich and handsome, but this is just going too far. It looks like I need to do something about this before the reception starts. I'm not going to let you ruin my wedding, no matter what, Pietra. <laughs> yes, I successfully chased away the single old hag that was after my groom. With that out of the way, we can have our wedding reception without having to worry about you barging in anymore. Wow, it looks like bringing the sewing kit was a good idea, I guess. These scissors especially came in handy. Um, Miria, just what are you trying to do? Oh, it looks like you finally replied to my texts. <laughs> Could you please explain to me why you suddenly ran at me with those scissors of yours and cut apart my wedding dress? To be honest, I thought that you were going to stab me or something. Huh? Why in the world would I stab you? Are you accusing me of being a psychopath or something? And stop acting like you don't know anything. You know exactly what you did and I don't have to tell you again. This is why single old women like you are the worst. They always start acting like the victim when they're caught doing something wrong. I mean, what were you even thinking coming to my wedding wearing a white dress? <laughs> You're the one who owes me an explanation. Besides, I didn't even invite you, yet you still came. At first, I thought that you came to find a man of your own amongst my boyfriend's rich friends, but that's when I noticed that you came wearing a wedding dress. That's when I remembered how you told me you had a wedding of your own, which is when I realized what you were trying to tell me. You were planning on barging in on my wedding and stealing my groom from the start, weren't you? The wedding you had to go to was mine from the start, wasn't it? Jesus, Pietra, you're scaring me with just how much of a psychopath you are. Uh, basically none of what you just said right now is true, Miria. It's no use lying to me, Pietra. I see right through you and your lies. Now that I cut that wedding dress of yours apart, it looks like you won't be able to find a man for yourself at my wedding like you intended anymore. <laughs> Hurry up and go home. What? I thought you said that I was after your groom or something. Uh, never mind. It's no use trying to find logic in anything you say. 
Anyways, looks like I will have to go home now. Too bad you couldn't get out of the life of a single woman. <laughs> I guess you'll just have to wait a bit longer for that, but since you're already 30, and not only that, but have a terrible personality as well, I think it's going to be difficult for you to ever find a man. <laughs> Sorry, Pietra. I kind of feel bad for you. I guess you're just going to have to live the rest of your life alone. That must be really sad, right? But enough of that already. Because today, I gracefully overcame the obstacle that was the single old woman that came to ruin my wedding, and I'm now going to find happiness with my husband. I had no idea that we were having our weddings at the same venue. Hmm? What are you talking about? It's not that I was invited to someone else's wedding, but I came to this wedding venue to have my own wedding. Oh, and I feel stupid for even having to mention this, but I definitely did not come to your wedding to steal your groom or something. I was wearing a wedding dress because I was the bride, as it's custom for the bride to do, you know. Huh? But isn't it a thing where a crazy jealous woman suddenly shows up at your wedding wearing a wedding dress because she intends on stealing your husband? Doesn't that happen in real life as well? <laughs> Pietra, what are you going to do about this? I can't get married anymore because of you. Good morning, Miria. I heard that your fiancé canceled the marriage. Yes, and it's all your fault. He told me that he didn't want to marry a crazy woman that cuts up other women's wedding dresses or something. I tried explaining to him that I only did it because I thought that you were there to steal him from me, but he said that that just made me sound even more crazy. But to think that I was about to marry a rich man, that's gone now and it's all because of you. Seriously, what are you going to do about this? This is your fault, you know. How is this my fault? This is all you're doing, Miria, so please don't blame me for your misfortunes. It's your fault for wearing a wedding dress. If I had known that we were having our weddings on the same day and on the same venue, this never would have happened. First of all, it seems like you're forgetting the fact that you suddenly ran up to me with scissors in your hands and cut apart my wedding dress. I mean, you could have at least talked to me and asked me why, and second of all, it's not like I planned this since I didn't know that you were going to have your wedding at the same wedding venue as mine. What did you just say to me? Are you trying to say that I'm not a normal person or something? Of course I didn't hesitate in ripping apart your wedding dress. I thought that you were there to steal my groom. You see, my wedding was a small scale one, so I only invited friends and family. I didn't invite anyone from the company. I heard that you too only invited a few of your colleagues you were close with from work. Besides, did you forget that I made an announcement to the company that I was getting married on the same day you were going to have your wedding? What? You told the company that you were getting married? I did. Uh, what? This is probably the reason that we didn't notice that we were going to have our weddings at the same venue. I don't care about any of that anymore. All that matters now is that my wedding was canceled. My rich fiancé, he's gone now. Yes, but complaining about that to me isn't going to change anything. You rented a new wedding dress and went through with your wedding, right? That's so unfair. Why do you get married and I don't? Miria. What? You see, when you suddenly approached me with those scissors and cut apart my wedding dress with them, I was honestly very scared. Huh? Thankfully, I wasn't hurt, and since you were probably going to have to pay for a lot of different stuff, like an alimony from your ex-fiancé and cancellation fees for your wedding, not only that, but I heard that the wedding venue was going to make you pay for the wedding dress that you cut apart. That's why I thought I would just forget about it and not make a big deal, but... What are you on about? Not only do you show zero remorse towards your actions, but you act as if I'm the one who harmed you and not the other way around and are getting mad at me for it, I think. Um, I don't like where this is going. I realize now that if I don't settle things with you, it's not going to benefit either of us. So I decided that I'm going to make you pay me an alimony. Seriously? 
Pietra, please, I'm begging you. I regret what I did to you, so now you can cancel that alimony you're making me pay you. Not only am I being asked to pay a total of 50,000 euros to my husband in the wedding venue, but even the company is suggesting that I voluntarily resign. Even if they let me stay, everyone at the company gives me these strange looks and suddenly started being cold to me. So I think I have no choice but to quit. And on top of that, my parents are saying that there's no way that they're going to help me. And that, on the other hand, they were actually going to cut ties with me. Which means that I don't have anyone to rely on anymore. But you're still going to make me pay you an alimony? Even though I'm currently living in hell on earth? There's no way I'm going to be able to bounce back from this. Pietro, please. Don't you realize how much anguish you're causing me right now? I'm asking you as a colleague to help me right now, you know? I'm begging you from the bottom of my heart and you still won't help me? Just who do you think you even are? This is why single old women are the worst. Oh, I guess you're married now, but... <coughs> when I went to work the next day, Miria was nowhere to be seen. I asked our manager about it, and apparently she had already turned in her letter of resignation. I heard about what happened to her after that from her parents, who came to me to apologize for what their daughter had done. After submitting her letter of resignation, it seems that Miria planned on locking herself in her own room in her parents' house, even though her parents had already cut ties with her. But her parents already knew Miria and how she was an expert at running away from difficult situations with all her strength all too well. They kept watch over the house's entrance, and sure enough, Miria was attempting to sneak into her room. They captured her immediately, and apparently they sent her to live with a relative of hers that she hated so much that it was possible that for her seeing them was a trauma in and of itself. It seems that these relatives of hers paid for all the stuff Miria had to pay for. She was for some reason welcomed at this house, which is when the two sons of the family... I decided that listening to Miria's parents' story any longer than that would give me trauma myself, so I ended the conversation with them there. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.